ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President of the General Motors Foundation, Vivian Picard. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Chevrolet exhibit at the Washington, D.C. Auto Show. We have again come to D.C. to showcase our vehicles and in recent years to tell the story of the new General Motors. And since this is an auto show, it would be customary for us to take the opportunity to tell you how our company and our products, like our Corvette Stingray and the Silverado, recently was honored with the North America's Car and Truck of the Year. And we are wowing drivers throughout the nation. That will definitely happen, but right now we are going to do something that I think is equally as important. We are going to share some exciting news from the General Motors Foundation. Since its inception in 1976, the General Motors Foundation has donated hundreds of millions of dollars to make a positive difference in the lives of African Americans and Americans all over the country. Our community investments are focused primarily in the areas of education, health and human services, the environment and energy, and community empowerment. With education at the forefront of our efforts, we have long supported organizations and events that really spark an interest in our nation's proud history. One recent example of this is our role as the largest supporter of the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial on the Mall here in DC. However, it was 60 years ago that we formed a partnership with the Smithsonian Museum. In 1954, General Motors donated the very first mechanical heart pump to the Smithsonian Museum of, Af of American History's Division of Science, Medicine, and Society in 1954. In the following years, our support continued through the donation of a vehicle purchase website, GM by Power, to the museum's research collection, the world's very first commercially significant computer-controlled electric robot named Alice, and other relevant contributions. In fact, one of the most significant commitments we have made to the Smithsonian was in 2003, when the General Motors Foundation pledged $10 million as the principal supporter of America on the Move, an exhibit that explores the role of transportation in American history. And it's located in the General Motors Hall of Transportation. In keeping with our very proud tradition of support for the Smithsonian, today we have asked the founding director of the Smithsonian Museum of African American History and Culture, Mr. Lonnie Bunch, and his esteemed colleagues to join us. Currently under construction on site on an adjacent, adjacent to the Washington Monument, the Smithsonian Museum of African American History and Culture will open in 2015 with the purpose of showcasing richness and diversity of the African American experience. Let's take a look. America, the beautiful. For centuries, the hopes, dreams, and promise of this great nation has been shaped by the African American experience. America. Now comes a museum to honor this legacy. And finally, tell their story. Tell all our stories. Located on the National Mall, the Smithsonian's Museum of African American History and Culture will celebrate the people, places, and events that shaped America and our world. From innovations in music and the arts to the front lines and the global fight for equal rights, this museum will honor the African Americans that led our way. Follow the journey from slavery to freedom. The National Museum of African American History and Culture will be a place of remembrance, spirituality, and laughter. 
the story of a great American people continues. Help us make sure it's heard. What a very terrific video to showcase this project. And now I'd like to bring to the stage Mr. Lonnie Bunch, the founding director of the museum, and Ed Wellborn, vice president of global design at General Motors, and a board member of the General Motors Foundation. <laughs> On behalf of the General Motors Foundation, it is my pleasure to present a $1 million grant to the Smithsonian Museum and the African American Museum of Culture and History. Uh. Ed, you want to come? And believe it or not, the actual check will be there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Through this grant, we are really proud to support the design and installation of the museum's permanent exhibits. And on behalf of General Motors and the General Motors Foundation, we are really humbled and honored to bring to life the story of African Americans who have changed our nation in so many ways. And now, it is my pleasure to bring to the podium Mr. Lonnie Bunch, the person that's really made a difference with this initiative. Life. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Vivian, thank you so much for your kind words. I cannot express to you how pleased I am and how grateful all of us at the Smithsonian are for this extraordinary gift from the General Motors Foundation. As a founding donor of the newest Smithsonian Museum, General Motors will help ensure the completion of a signature green building a building that is next to the Washington Monument within the shadow of the White House. But more importantly, this gift will help the museum, will help create a museum that will share the rich history and culture of the African American community with millions of people who will come into the building and, in fact, millions more who will come online to engage the museum's educational programs. It is quite appropriate that General Motors plays a major role in helping to bring the dream of an African-American museum on the mall to fruition, because GM has played an important role in shaping the African-American experience. From almost the beginning of World War I, General Motors has helped to stimulate a great migration of African-Americans, of people who left the South for the American cities in search of the promise of America. Many found that promise working in places like General Motors. They allowed the African-American community to find the middle class, to educate their children, and to most importantly, share in the American dream. So it seems to me how wonderful it is for GM, through this general gift, to continue to make the dreams of many generations real with the creation of this museum. So it is with deep appreciation and quite humbling that I accept this extraordinary gift on behalf of the Smithsonian. Thank you very much. You are the best. Thank, you. Mm. thank you, Lonnie. And thank you to all of you for coming to share this great news. This concludes our press conference. Please enjoy the auto show and especially the great cars and trucks of General Motors. Thank you very much. <laughs>